morning grade 3 welcome back to grade 3 mathematics class how are you all doing today today let's learn more about a calendar date what do you mean by a calendar date a calendar date refers to a particular day represented within a calendar system a calendar date helps us to identify a specific day in an year or you can say it is a designation given to a specific day within a calendar system for example your date of birth your date of birth helps to identify the day which you were born how do you represent a date how do you write a date see there are different ways to write a date but we commonly use these two formats so when you write a date first you have to write the date of that particular day then the month and then the year with slashes in between so if today is the 9th of february we write the date as 9 like this then the month is february that is the second month of the year so it is 02 and the year is 2021 so this is an example of how to write the date in this format you can also write the date with dots in between instead of slashes so it is date dot month dot year here here we have example 9 dot 2 dot 2021 which means it is the 9 of february so i hope these formats are clear to you this is very simple now let's talk about timeline you might have heard this word before what do you mean by a timeline see when you have a few events taking place when you arrange these events in the order of their occurrence we call that as a timeline so when you arrange some events in the order of their occurrence it is called a timeline so i'll tell you a very simple example suppose you were born in the year 2012 and then in 2013 you turned one year in 2016 you turned four and then you joined kindergarten so in 2013 you turned one and in 2016 you turned four and then you joined kindergarten so here we have arranged these events on a timeline on a line and here it is also written your year of birth so here you have these three events arranged on a timeline with descriptions of what happened in that particular year so this is a very simple example of a timeline and why timelines are important see a timeline is useful to document any type of development or progress if you're working in a project when you document the different stages of the development on a timeline it helps you to move forward with an idea of what happened in the previous days or in the previous years so a timeline is very useful to document any type of development or progress we'll do one activity in page number 144 you see this box maths lab activity and it is to practice reading days and dates from a calendar so in a calendar what all things will be marked the year will be marked the month will be marked and days of the week with the dates of the particular day will be marked and public holidays will be marked in red color so in this activity you'll need a month's calendar for the current year and a pencil so all of you please pause this video please go grab a calendar and a pencil and then come back hope you have got a calendar and a pencil with you now i'll be using the calendar shown in this example here you can use your own calendar for doing this activity so here the method is specified as locate and circle the days and days so there are a few questions given below let me read it out to you read the calendar and answer the following questions you may use the calendar you are holding now for the time being i'm using the calendar which is shown in the activity so here you can see the calendar for the year 2017 and the month is august and you, have, you can see all the days marked here with the proper dates so the first question is how many sundays are there you can see the sundays are marked here in red and how many sundays are there in this calendar shown here there are one 
to three four Sundays are here. So you can check your calendar, the calendar that you have in your hand, and check the number of Sundays and write it there. So here in this calendar there are four Sundays marked. And the second question, write the dates for all the Thursdays. So in this calendar, the dates for Thursdays are 3, 10, 17, 24 and 31. So I'm going to write it here. You have to check the calendar you have with you. So 3, 10, 17, 24 and 31. The number of public holidays if any. See, if there are any other holidays which are public holidays in the calendar, other than these Sundays, they will also be marked in red in between. So, here in this calendar, there are no public holidays marked. So, here you can write 0. Now, let's see the next one. What is the day on the 10th day of this month? So, here the 10th day of this month is a Thursday. So, I am going to write Thursday here. Now, how many complete weeks are there? So how many days are there in a complete week? There are 7 days. So here in the calendar you can see there are 1, 2, 3 weeks which have complete 7 days. So there are 3 complete weeks marked on this calendar. So I am going to write 3 here. So I hope you have done this activity with the calendar you have with you now. Now children you can go through these topics from page number 143 to 145. And in 143, there is a small exercise related to timeline given. Please go through that and do accordingly. It's about the great cricketer Sachin Tendulkar. Now, in page number 144, you can see the high order thinking skills question. And also, there is the activity called My Project. Go through these two questions also and do accordingly. So, that's all for today, children. So, I hope the concepts are clear to you. We'll see in the next class. Till then, bye.